Metal Up World. This is CJ with CJOrtiz.com and MetalMotivation.com. This is the first of a new five-message series I'm doing on Overcomer, How to Deal with Hard Times. Now, this is all being shown in my Life Domination online coaching program, and you can learn more about that if you visit the link below. Overcomer, How to Deal with Hard Times. Everybody goes through hard times. That seems to be painfully obvious. You might be going through something right now in your life, a difficult season, a difficult time that you don't think is ever going to end. You don't know how to get through it. You don't know how to get past it. You don't feel like you have the strength. The whole point of this series is to shift you from just trying to survive other and more bad seasons, bad times, to being an overcomer. We're going to talk about what an overcomer is in just a few minutes here. But you must shift. There must be a fundamental shift. Too many people spend all of their time trying to survive bad times. That's all they do. They go from a good season to a bad season to a good season to a bad season. It's just a vicious cycle that they can't ever seem to break out of. And that may be you. You might be like, dude, I've had some good times in my life, but it just seems like I always fall back. No matter how many times I get ahead financially, I end up falling back once again, being in debt, owing a bunch of things, getting behind on my rent. You know, I have I go from relationship to relationship. Nothing ever seems to work out for me. I can never repair things with my family. You know, I just I get fired. I get laid off. I'm just, you know, I've got dead end jobs I don't like. I'm dealing with, you know, weight issues and I'm sick and I'm whatever it may be, whatever hard times you're going through, my friend. You may feel like it just is a never ending vicious cycle in a good season into a bad season and so on and so on. And the danger of that kind of thing is that it creates hopelessness. You stop believing that there's any way out. You stop believing that there's any possibilities for you. You stop believing that, you know, you can get what other people have gotten out of life. And you just think, man, it's just, I'm just chosen for this. We're going to talk about that here in just a second. Nothing, let me promise you this, nothing is going to cause a bad season to last longer or be worse than the way you believe it, the way you interpret it, the the meaning that you give to what it is that you're going through. That's how you make a bad season worse, and it's how you make it last longer. Here's four wrong beliefs that I find in people when it comes to them going through a hard time. Number one, they believe it's because they did something wrong. They're being punished, that somehow the universe or God is punishing them because they're such a bad person. They did something wrong. I must have done something wrong for all this bad to come upon my life. Or number two, it's because they're cursed or they're somehow destined to suffer. You know, they can get that way too, man. The less you understand about the way something is achieved, the more you think it's magic and that it happens for somebody else. Another thing you can believe is that it's never going to end. Somehow this season is never going to end for you. You are never going to get out of it. And number four, that you believe that your circumstances are stronger than you. They are always stronger than you. You are always defeated by them. What do you end up wanting? Sympathy. That's what most people do. When they get in bad times, they look for sympathy. They look for help from other people. They want empathy, sympathy. They want people to rub them on the back. They want people to say, poor, woe is me. Yeah, poor you. It's too bad, man. You always you always end up in the situation, man. You can never seem to get out of it. Dude, I feel sorry for you. As if somehow that's going to help you. That's not going to help you. Little kids will cry because they want sympathy, but we adults do the same thing. We, you will see people whining online because they want sympathy. People want sympathy from me. They want empathy from me. Whenever I tell them meddle up or do this, they think that I don't care. They think that I'm just dismissing the difficulties that go, that they go through, that if somehow I don't understand, it's easy for me to sit behind the stupid microphone and tell other people just to meddle up when I don't understand what they're going through. No, I understand what you're going through. I've been through bad times myself. I understand that. But at some point, you will make a decision that enough is enough and you'll start moving on with your life. That's how you get out of bad situations, man, right? At some point, enough is enough. You stop looking for sympathy. You stop licking your wounds, and you finally say enough is enough, and you do something about it. Something changes in you. 
Sympathy will reinforce in you a victim mentality, which is not what you want. Victims, men, belong in hospitals. It will Sympathy is going to reinforce a victim mentality. Yes, when you're going through and when somebody's experiencing great pain, sympathy is something that we should shower them with. At first, they don't need it perpetually because it will keep them in that victim mentality. Sympathy will make you a vacuum. What do I mean by that? You're going to start sucking the life and the energy and the emotion from everybody that shows you sympathy because you're going to get used to it and you're going to start liking it. And then you're going to start sucking from everybody else. Then they're going to stop wanting to be sympathetic to you and they're not going to want to hang out with you. Sympathy will strengthen your weakness. I know that's a weird way to say it. Strengthen weakness? Absolutely. It will strengthen. You will fortify your very weaknesses because you're going to start, they'll become your identity, if you will. And sympathy is going to justify you staying where you are. Because if there's enough painful things that have happened to you in your life, then that can create justification. When, so you, when you get sympathy from others, it's like, oh, okay, yeah, I guess I am treated poorly and therefore I should stay this way. Sympathy is going to keep you that way. That way, sympathy means you want something from the outside to ease your pain. But the true healing that you need is going to come from you overcoming these things. You are not going to be healed and restored by sympathy from others. It will not help you. The only real healing that you need will come from you overcoming whatever it is that you're facing. What does overcome mean? It means to succeed in dealing with a problem or difficulty. It means to prevail or to defeat an opponent. Isn't that badass? To prevail or to defeat an opponent. Isn't that what life is like? A constant engagement, a constant battle, constantly contending with the forces that are set against you. You must overcome. You must succeed in dealing with it. Whatever the problem may be, whatever the difficulty may be, whatever the opposition it is that you're facing, you must overcome it. And that is where your healing is going to come from. It is not going to come from the outside, from the sympathy that you gain from other people. Your healing is going to come as you waken up to the strength and the power that you have within you and you start getting stronger, learning how to deal with it, getting a rock solid mindset and you overcome what you're facing. That's how this is going to get done. That is how this is going to get done. Your hard times are probably the best classroom you've ever had. I'll say that again. Your hard times are probably the best classroom you've ever had because that's where you learn to create a better, stronger you. But you'll actually make things worse if you're always depending upon other people to get you out of things. If you're always needing the sympathy from others, if you're always needing somebody to rub your back, that's not going to help you. It's not going to get you out of work. Yes, it's not when you've really lo- when you've suffered a tremendous loss, of course. People need to be sympathetic towards you. But your strength is going to return. At some point, you're going to say, I don't need that anymore. I don't need that anymore. The point is that you've got to become stronger. And without resistance, it's hard to build strength, man. Without resistance, it's hard to build strength. Imagine a weightlifter going into a weight room and there's no weights in there. How's he going to build strength? He needs resistance. Life is like your big weight room. It's like your big gym filled with resistance, man. Life's difficulties are the best source of resistance. It's a, it's a classroom. When you learn to overcome something, you're going to get stronger. You're going to become more confident. You're going to become less afraid. You're going to get over your self-doubt. And you're going to start attacking other areas of life because you're just going to see, man, I'm stronger than I ever knew I was, and I'm going to start really achieving some things in life. So when you overcome things, you're going to experience that important shift in your mindset. Like I said, that's the goal here. You'll go from someone who's just trying to survive another bad day, survive another bad season, to someone who deliberately attacks things. Someone who starts releasing unbridled personal power on other areas of life, and then they start creating goals and things for them to achieve. Man, that's what we're talking about here. That's the big shift we want to see in you. That's the purpose of personal development. That's the purpose of self-improvement. And people... I'm going to talk about in this series this week how we were not trained this way. 
we were not trained to have an importance on personal development or self-improvement. We were not taught these things growing up. So we, we learn them now. We learn them the hard way. But I want us to overcome those things, and I want us to become stronger people to where you don't have to just contend with hard times. You become the overcomer. Can you dig that? I hope you can. So if you'd like to see the rest of these videos, as well as have access to my over 500 other videos in my archives on all kinds of topics, then I want you to join my Life Domination online coaching program today. It is super cheap. It is super easy. You can do the whole thing on your phone. Just spend 15 minutes or so a day, all in a private Facebook group, which I administrate. You and I get some time together. The only other people in there are people just like you, motivated people that are changing their lives very, very badass. You want to learn more about it? Visit the link below, please, today, metalmotivation.com forward slash life domination coaching. If you'd like to support me and what I do, then please do so by visiting my uh, online store, metalmotivationstore.com, killer t-shirts and stuff. Again, it all goes to support the cause. This is CJ, the Metal Motivator. And remember, in whatever you do, don't suck. Metal up.